All right, hey, how y'all doing? All right, this is Harold again coming at you, and I've been looking at this yellow naga Dave Jesse sent me. Why he he wants to make me cry? <laughs> I don't understand why, but uh, hey, Dave man, I appreciate you, and, and I've been looking at this pet pot. And, uh, it's a real solid pod, man. I tell you what, thick. It's really, I don't know if you can hear that. Real solid pod, man. But, uh, yeah, he grew these and, and sent me out this and uh, some, some marugas. That's a cross. And he says it's hot. And I said, well, I'm finally recovering from John Ford's chocolate maruga which was just man i tell you that was a good one um but yeah i wanted to go ahead and try this more out of curiosity than anything because i thought it looked cool and uh i wanted to see what a yellow naga would taste like so yeah here we go i'm gonna go ahead and open it up i want to see what it looks like obviously we always do it where everybody does this so you know why should i be different huh i got out my jason knife again yeah Actually, it's my my fillet knife for salmon, but you know, sound good. <laughs> All right. Ooh. So yeah, man, it's a uh, pretty good placenta in there. You can see them seeds. Man, that's kind of got that. You know, that uh, florally, I don't know, like a fatale type of a smell, I guess. I don't know. Definitely got a, you can smell it when you open it. Oh, throwing them everywhere. Here we go. Holy smokes, I'm just chucking them everywhere. I don't even know. Better be careful where they're going. I don't have peppers growing everywhere here. Sorry, disappearing for a minute because I... Chucked them all over the floor, and we're doing a little cat sitting right now, and I don't want the cat getting into this, man. I'll never hear the end of it. Yeah, you can see that right now. Talk about your catnip. Yeah, I'm going to pick these out. I'm being really stupid right now, picking these out with my bare hands. I normally will flick them out with a knife, but i got to be a little more careful, I guess. Anyway, so, yeah. So, yeah, I got them seeds out of there now, and we're going to go ahead and chew it up, see what goes on, man. It looks good. Definitely got that, that, yeah, you know, super hot flavor smell, that florally type of a smell, so. Hmm. It is warm, but it's actually pretty good. Uh, that's not bad at all, actually. Uh, yeah, it's got the, you know, the typical. It's not a fatale flavor, it's, it's, but it is a florally flavor. You, you, those of you who eat these super hot, you know what I'm talking about. Um, it's not going to climb up nowhere near on the Scaldale scale as as the uh, some of the other ones, but it's a good pepper. Uh, that being the uh, the yellow naga, um, it's it's tolerable. Yeah, it's a tolerable heat. I'd say mid range maybe. Uh, A little bit of a creeper heat, you know, something similar to what a boot would do with a with a creeper heat. Uh, it's not going to put me down, but it's a good pepper. It, it does have heat. Uh, I would almost say that this would be uh, maybe a good pepper if you weren't if you're just kind of intermediate or or 
or you didn't know how far you could go, that'd be a good pepper to do. <clears throat> you know, if you're stepping up from maybe a regular habanero uh, and not quite, I don't know if it'd be quite a boot in the, in the heat level, but it's a good heat. Um, definitely a manageable heat, especially for uh, some of us who really like our chilies. Uh, do I do these for anybody? No, I just do them because it's. I want to do it. Why not? You know, it's a. It's a good kick, though. It's pretty good. A uh, little bit of nose run, but you know. I'm gonna live through this one, no problem at all. Uh, but it's it. You know, hey Dave, that's a, that was a good one though. Dave Jesse sent me this. He's really got some uh, good-looking peppers. That one was thick skin, boy, I tell you. Real thick, uh, had a good placenta to it. It had some wool in it. I could see that being dried, or maybe in a verde, a salsa verde. That'd be pretty good. Uh, not overpowering floral. That's the good thing. Some of them are very overpowering. The floral flavor of that one is not as overpowering as some could be. So, uh, that was good. Salsa, yeah, I could see that in a salsa. That wouldn't be bad at all. Yeah, it would raise the level. But, you know, man, good pepper. So, uh, yeah, I'm sporting my little Russell Wilson shirt here. You know, go go Hawks, you know. So, <laughs> hey, what? Until they get beat. But anyway, hey. That was a good one. Hey, Dave, I appreciate you sending that out. Really fresh pods, too. Uh, my man Dave down there in California. Uh, we got some good West Coast growers out here uh, from California all the way up to, uh, well, now here in Washington. Uh, it's really good. It's uh, So, you know, they don't all have to be done down in Florida. They don't all have to be grown there. Uh you have to adapt to your climate. You have to adapt your growing methods to your climate. Uh, you know, up, up in the Canada, I guess you're going to have change there and you go to greenhouses or whatever, but uh, whatever it takes. Our, our brothers over there in the UK, I mean, they're used to it. They have to grow in hothouses and greenhouses all the time. Uh, it's adaptive. So, hey, Dave, that's good pepper. Uh, I appreciate that one. That was just a good pepper to eat and, and had a good, not overly florally taste. Uh, had some zing heat. Uh, really, it's not a bad pepper at all. It's a good, you could do some cooking with that one for sure. So, good one. Try the yellow naga. All right. Well, hey, I'm out of here. Y'all take care, and we'll see you over there on Pepper Bastards now. Smile. <laughs> Bye.